Camp. How are you doing? Welcome into another amazing session, Champ. And I'm your master teacher, Shivam Gupta. So, Champ, I have a question for you. So, Champ, as we know that the giant sequoia tree of North America are extremely tall, right? We know that. But now the question comes that can you find the height of the tree without climbing it? Without climbing the tree, can you find the height of the tree? So champ, yes, and the answer is the trigonometry. So champ, in today's class, we are gonna start the chapter trigonometry, a very important chapter for your board examination. And in today's class, we will be covering the introduction. We will be defining the ratio of the trigonometry. Then we will see that how to find the trigonometric ratio with the help of the sides of a right angle triangle. So let us start, champ. So first of all, the question comes. But why do we need the trigonometry and why we study the trigonometry? So champ, we can use the trigonometry in order to find the large distance, right? In the GPS, we have to use the trigonometry and for the navigation also, we have to use the trigonometry. So trigonometry is not only important for the exam, but in the daily life also, we have to use the trigonometry in various places. So now champ, let me show you that the trigonometry is the combination of two different words. So one is the trigonon and second is the metron. The meaning of the trigonon is triangle and the meaning of the metron is measurement. So if I will combine these two words, I will get the trigonometry is nothing but measurement related to the triangle. Right? So very simple thing, a trigonometry is related to the measurement related to the triangle, that's it. Now champ, consider this right angle triangle where my angle B is equal to angle theta. Now champ, if I will take another right angle triangle by keeping the same angle B in the triangle, so I can see in this one that AC upon BC will be equal to DE upon BE. And I hope that you can find it also with the help of similarity concept. But now, if I will draw the same right angle triangle, but this time my angle B is different. In one case, angle B is theta. In another case, angle B is theta prime. So what do you think? The same kind of relation we were getting, will we get the same kind of relation over here again? The answer is no. And why so? Because if the angle is not equal, we cannot prove them similar and hence these will not be equal to each other. So now champ, let me show you that how they are not equal to each other. So champ, we can see that in the triangle ABC and DPE, in both the triangle, one angle is equal because the right angle and one angle theta is equal. So with the help of double A criteria, both the triangles are similar to each other. Yes, then we can say if the triangles are similar, then the ratio of their corresponding sides will be equal to each other. I hope it is clear. Very good. So now champ, let's consider these two ratio. And after rearrangement of these two ratio, I will be getting AC upon BC equal to DE upon BE. And hence, we can get these kind of results if I have a same angle theta. Only then I can prove my triangle to be a similar triangle, right? So that means the ratio of any two sides of a right angle triangle depends only on the angle theta, right? The angle theta is the perimeter on which the ratio of the any two sides of a right angle triangle depends. So now champ, let me show you that in one right angle triangle, what kind of ratio we could have. So look at this right angle triangle. In right angle triangle, there will be three sides. One is base, one is perpendicular, and one is hypotenuse, right? So now, champ, we can find out that hypotenuse is nothing but side opposite to the 90 degree angle. Yes, my perpendicular and base are not the fixed side. My perpendicular and base depend that with respect to which angle we are talking about. Let's say we are talking about the angle theta. The so side opposite to the angle theta will be the perpendicular and side adjacent to the angle theta will be my base. I hope it is clear. So champ, 
now the question comes that with the help of these three sides how many ratio can be formed so now chem let me show you that these are the different six ratio which could be formed by using these three sides one could be perpendicular upon hypotenuse one could be base upon hypotenuse right one could be perpendicular upon base and the rest three will be the reciprocal of these so that means with the help of these three sides we could have six different ratio now chem every ratio is representing a very special trigonometric ratio also so now chem every ratio is nothing but is representing a trigonometric ratio like perpendicular upon hypotenuse will be sin theta perpendicular upon base will be tan theta my hypotenuse upon perpendicular will be cosec theta which is nothing but opposite of sin theta so this is how we have to find out the trigonometric ratios if we know the sides of a right angle triangle i hope it is clear now chem try to see the starting three and the last three ratio these are reciprocal to each other sin theta and cosec theta reciprocal cos and sec theta are reciprocal of each other tan theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other that means we can write that cosec theta equal to 1 upon sin theta sec theta equal to 1 upon cos theta and same cot theta equal to 1 upon tan theta i hope this is clear to you very important concept and these kind of properties we have to use in the question also okay chen very good so from here by rearrangement we can write sin into cosec equal to 1 only one condition angle must be same okay cosec theta into sin theta equal to 1 cos theta into sec theta equal to 1 in the same way cot theta into tan theta will be equal to 1 only one condition they must be having the same angle okay very good now chem look at the first two if we will divide the first two sin upon cos this upon this my hypotenuse will get cancel out i will get perpendicular upon base perpendicular upon base is nothing but my tan theta so sin theta upon cos theta is my tan theta and we know that reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta so cos theta upon sin theta equal to cot theta very easy peasy so now chem one question to think about that if we have two triangles can we consider any other angle other than the angle b can we consider the any other angle to be theta right so now chem let me show you this example for a given angle theta we could find base perpendicular and hypotenuse now i told you that in a question my perpendicular and base are not fixed they are dependent on my angle right now chem let's get back to our special starting tree puzzle so now in the starting we were having a tree right so let's say let's stick a pole in the ground right chem now the sun rays hit the earth at a same angle that means both the triangle will be similar we can find the shadow and the length of the pole yes we can find the length of the shadow of the tree also so if we know these values right then we can find the height of the tree also with the help of concept of similarity so we can find with the help of concept of similarity tan theta will be p upon b 4 upon 3 same angle theta will be here tan theta will be h upon 6 which is p upon b just equate it and you will get your height of the tree also i hope it is clear very easy busy excellent now chem let me show you one more question look at this one from the following triangle calculate the value of sin theta we know that sin theta is what perpendicular upon hypotenuse right chem now perpendicular will be the opposite side of the theta my hypotenuse will be opposite to the 90 degree So very easy. Sin theta equal to BC upon AC, three upon five is easy. I hope it is clear. Look at this one. In a triangle, sides are given to us. We have to find all the trigonometric ratios. So Chen, we can we can find we can find the hypotenuse with the help of Pythagorean theorem. Yes, 
And once we get all the sides, we can easily find all the trigonometric ratio with the help of their respective formula. I hope it is clear. Very good. Excellent. And then same cosec, sec and cot can be found with the help of sine, cos and tan. Just take the reciprocal. Okay, Chem, so now let's summarize our class. So in this class, we have seen how to define the trigonometric ratios and how we can find their values also. So now, Chem, make sure that you are practicing hard and stay tuned and keep smiling. Bye-bye.